Outer. Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Oh, my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7 and 10! Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is 3 for 4 this evening. is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game two of the NLDS between the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. season is officially in full swing lineups and first pitch coming up next back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci and now your 2017 Chicago Cubs. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with as Grubel Cabrera. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands, always seems to turn in a good at bat, and he could do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. John Lester will be on the bump for game two of the series. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he's got five pitches, and I love the fact he mixes them well. And we'll just see if he's on today. That means he's throwing strikes with all of them, and he'll have a dominant game if he does so. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Cubs. In this day and age, with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. A match up with John Lester now to lead off the inning. Payoff pitch coming from Lester. Line toward center field. Jay will take care of this one and Reyes is retired to open up the ball game. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Stepping in now as Drupal Cabrera. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Not a bad night to bring the parka along. 54 degrees at game time. And the pitch on two and one. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. 
two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter so Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count do you still pitch for the strikeout here I think one of the keys Matt you want to try to initiate contact the one thing you don't want to do you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes whatever you want to throw throw it over for a strike into the windup ready with the payoff pitch. Now Cabrera swings and misses on a good pitch that time as he's rung up for out number two. Batting third, the right fielder. Now at the plate, three. Michael Conforto. Michael first Conforto. chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And he lays off for a ball two and one. Well when you're behind an account like this pitcher is it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Hitters count now here's the two and one. Ball three three one count to this guy. You don't want to challenge him right here. Don't give him anything to hit. No 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 keep it on the corner. Just getting things underway here at Wrigley. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? And another foul ball. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. He's just fouling them off till he gets something he wants to hit. Bases are empty here with two men out. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. And now time to check how Joe Madden has lined the Cubbies up in this one. Dan Plesak, who are you focused on? Well, I'm definitely excited to see Addison Russell play. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy. Because as he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. Jacob deGrom is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, H? Matt, he comes in to start here in the career ERA. Get this, of under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. So let's see if he's got his great stuff in this outing as well. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often this way. In now is John Jay. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. Batting second. The shortstop. Anderson Russell. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. Matt, I gotta be totally honest here. With Woody Keller behind the dish, don't be too surprised you have a few questionable calls. It's not that he's consistently off, but I've been told it seems like he has a fairly tall strike zone. We'll keep an eye out for that. So it was a swinging third. strike three. Third. Addison Thanks, Russell. Becomes out number two this inning. Here's Chris Bryant now. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better.
And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. So coming to the plate, Joanna Cespedes. He'll get us started in the top of the second. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Ball strike two. Here's Lester now on two and two. On the ground to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. One and one, here it comes. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And this is fouled back and out of play. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Chopped in front of home plate. Throw gets him, two down. Batting check, third baseman, number five, David Wright. Digging in, David Wright. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Set to deliver on 3-0. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the bleachers and out of here. So a solo shot here for David Wright. His second home run of the series, and the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. And he was totally dialed in for the first two hitters, seducing a couple of easy grounders. Then he catches way too much of the plate on the third guy, and it winds up in the seats. Sometimes you can fall in the trap of not focusing all the way through the end of an inning when you're rolling out there on the mound. That might have happened here. Into the box, Travis Garneau. In there, one and two now. We're in the second, one nothing Mets early on. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Mets get one on the David Wright home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's one nothing Mets. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. In previous duels with DeGrom, just three for 14. He's taken him deep once. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. The one and two pitch. A swing and a high drive to right center field. 
Back goes Lagares at the track. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo home run here for Anthony Rizzo. His first homer so far in the series. And the Cubs are back to even now with one run apiece. Wow, he really hit that ball well. Just got great extension and didn't miss the pitch. Standing in now, Kyle Schwarber takes a high fastball for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Darno has it. He'll throw down to first, one away. Here's Ben Zobris now. And Zobris. One out, nobody on. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows seven. smoke by a guy Asher. at the letters. That's the Wilson. ultimate challenge on pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. In now, Wilson Contreras. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Stepping in, Juan Ligares, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Well, this is what you want from the guy hitting in front of the pitcher. You lead off the inning with the base hit. Now it sets up the inning. Do you bunt him over? Do you hit and run? Do you allow him to steal? A lot of things can happen now. So digging in now, Jacob DeGrom, a textbook sack bunt situation here. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. And he'll try to bunt that man to second, but this one kicks foul. Now Lester deals the one two and a bunt attempt here with two strikes that'll get foul so he'll become out number one shortstop number seven Jose Reyes striding in once again Jose Reyes 0 for one here in the early going runner on first here with one gone and a one one tie. Now we'll step off and fire to the bag and the runner back in standing. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch 13, like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a, a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First and second now, one man out. Sent on the ground out to second. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more postseason baseball in game two after this. At the 
play, John Lester, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. 1-1 one -one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Ready to deliver the one and two. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. Right. What does he do? He just right. throws this good Caesar. fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Stepping in now, Matt Caesar. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. In the one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball and he can't catch up to the express. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. That was some great situational hitting there after surveying the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line, and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two-bagger. Into the box, Addison Russell. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. Game two coverage rolls on after this. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Pitch on the way. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 1 1 on its way from Lester. Called strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the camp now, one and two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Now Lester deals the one two. Drilled right back up the middle. Russell ranging to his right, and the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at first short, and there are two away now. Wilmer Flores. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Wilmer Flores. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. 1 and 2, here it comes. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Again, a one-two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Here's Lester now on two and two. Just a bit low, ball three. Here's the pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. 
Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Three and one now. This is one of the rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Now a swing and a fly ball. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Met strand one. On to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. Here's Chris Bryant now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. For the shortstop, Reyes. He's got it. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. First baseman number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. One run, two hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here's a ball well struck for the right field corner. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Yeah, and most guys that hit for the cycle can get a single or a double but struggle with the rest. Not this guy. He's already got the homer and the triple, so the hardest parts are out of the way. We'll see what the rest of the game holds in store. That'll be the fourth wide one, so put runners at the corners here with one man gone. The second baseman, number 18, and Joe Brad. Here's Ben Zobris now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And here's a ball hit in the air. Into the stands. He got it. And he's not even going to consider it here as he holds tight at third with two away now. The catcher number 40. Wilson Contreras. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Here's a called strike on the curveball, one and two. Love that pitch right there, and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner a lot of and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side up strand a couple fifth inning coming up tied at one at the plate Travis Darno comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. Got him. The center fielder number 12. Juan 
Ligares. Digging in for his second at bat. Juan Ligares. One for one after a single his first time up. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Not too often you see that that go from 3-0 to a strikeout. So that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3-0 take. But he still had to put it in the zone. Into the box now. Jacob DeGrom. He swings and grounds it to short. Russell's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Ready for another chance? John Lester, he's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Digging in to try it again. Matt Caesar, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Taking all the way, and it's 3 and 1 now. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Sean Shay. Digging in and looking for more. John Jay. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. We played five full, tied at one aside. Here's the shortstop now. Jose Reyes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit back toward the mound. And that is going to get on through. So Reyes is aboard on a leadoff hit. Digging in to try it again. As Dribble Cabrera. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Step off the rubber and go to first. Runner back standing. Here's the 1 1. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key 
He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. And that last pitch was number 74 for Lester in this one. Now we'll step off the rubber and go to first. And the runner back easily. Reyes the runner at first with nobody out. Just got a piece up the line. That winds up foul. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag. And the runner will get back standing. And another snap throw to the bag keeping particularly close tabs on him. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Sure enough, there goes Reyes. Pitch outside the throw. And it's not in time, so Reyes has himself a stolen base. Well, that stolen base was about as bang-bang as they come, and his show track demonstrates to us right here it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Caesar has a play. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he will make it back to second and be content with holding on there. The right fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Now a look and a throw back to second, and he's back standing. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. The next 0-2. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Well, when you're behind 0-2 as a hitter, you're in swing mode. Nothing changes that like seeing something hard bearing in on you, though. Runner at second here with one man out. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. No hitter is ever going to feel good about taking the hat trick with three strikeouts in a game, but I will say he's not the first guy to have a terrible game against my man on the mound. And you know what? He won't be the last. We all know he's one of the best in the business for a reason. In now, Joanna Cespedes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Uh, I think he wanted that pitch right there, but you know what? He's been throwing the ball real well tonight, and he's been getting a lot of favorable calls from the umpire, too. Two out here and a runner at second. And he lays off again, ball three. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. He's set. Here's the 3-1 down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. And the runner will score from second as they take a two to one lead. Well, he comes up with the big RBI hit right there First and puts them ahead three. in this ball game. If they can keep Number a lead, get to that four. bullpen, they got a shot to win this game. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. In there, two and two. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. 
A runner on first with two away. Hit hard back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Oh, the changeup executed nicely, and he's still got a ground ball. They got the base hit. He got his ground ball. He did everything he wanted to do. Sometimes it just doesn't work out for him. David Wright will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Hey, look out. Curveball misses way inside. Ball three. Well, giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that last pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with this release point right now. He doesn't know where it's going, and he knows it. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. In is Jay, but this ball's in front of him for a base hit. Cespedes. Rounds third and is digging for the plate. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Well, that ball right there, Matt, he hit it hard. We saw it. He now smoked batting. it to the outfield. Catch this it. may be a sign. Traffic. Pitcher's starting Darn to get a little bit tired. He's starting to make some mistakes. He's leaving some balls over the plate. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And I believe that's going to be all for John Lester. He'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Fernando Rodriguez trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Fernando Rodriguez. Into the box, Travis Darnone. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mets three and the Cubs one. Here's Addison Russell. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Looking to send him packing again. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Riding in once again, Chris Bryant. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will, just to the right of the chalk, a fair ball. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And a two one slider is looked at for a called strike two. Now 
a swing and a fly ball. And he pushed it just a bit too much and wind up a foul ball. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, and Rizzo gets on top of one and sends it in the air out to deep right field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A two-run shot off the bat of Anthony Rizzo. His second of the game. And the Cubs have come back to tie it at three. As a hitter, that feels so good. The previous pitch ran in on him, trying to get him off the plate. But the next pitch, he mashes it out of here. Goes to show you, can intimidate him. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. A little bit outside, two and one. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. A little too tall that time, three and one now. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Oh, the good curveball there, and it's three and two. Full count, here it comes. And look out, that's in very tight, and it's ball four. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him three and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit, so we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ben Zobrist. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Runners off for second, hit out towards second, and he is in there. On to first, and there were two down. Here's one that you don't see too often, right? Safe at second base, but out at first. Great hustle there from the runner going into second. Really showed off his speed. Standing in now, Wilson Contreras. A fastball that just misses inside. Set. Here's the 2 2. Grounded softly to the right. Flores scoops it up. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Two for the Cubs in the inning on the strength of this two run home run. Eight, nine, and top of the order coming up to start the seventh. We're tied now with three apiece. Welcome back here to the historic friendly confines of Wrigley Field. It's on to the seventh now in game two. But before we start there's a look at our game summary to this point. Here's Juan Ligares a hit in two tries so far. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander has begun to get loose. Now a curveball here nowhere close that's in the dirt it's three and one. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. In now Jacob DeGrom. Swing and a liner. 
A dive, but it's off his glove. And a nice job to stay with it that time and get the second out of the inning. But hold on here now. He jumped out of that dugout in a hurry. He might ask for that out call to be reviewed. Yeah, he may, Matt, but I think he'll see what his replay guys think first. Looking at it again, man, I can't tell for sure if he was out or not. Tough call. So here's the signal from the dugout, and it appears they will decide not to challenge the call on the field, so the runner is out at first. Into the box, Jose Reyes. Popped high in the air. Zobrist is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Score remains tied at three to three. Tommy LaStella is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. in the Mets bullpen now it's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw lifted into center field and the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down right fielder number 20 Matt Caesar ready for another shot now Matt Caesar Hole for two with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it, two and two. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Now a swing and a ground ball for the second baseman Cabrera. In time to first and there are two away. Now batting center fielder Sean Shea. Digging in once again John Jay. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Still tied three to three. Koji Uehara has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 19, Koji Uehara. Into the box now as Drupal Cabrera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 1 1 home to Cabrera. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He's ready with the two two pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low, it's ball three. Here comes the payoff pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Weekly hit towards first. Rizzo comes up with it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting, 
Time now to give you a look at our starter comparison in this 3-3 ball game. Both pitchers turning in fairly good performances, as you can see on the graphic. Ready once again, Michael Conforto. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. And this is fouled back and out of play. Bases are empty, one man out. This is pulled into right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Getting late here at Wrigley Field. These two clubs have battled all throughout this one, as you can see on the line score. We're all square as they play inning number eight. Digging in and looking for more. Joanna Cespedes. Lifetime against this pitcher. Two hits in seven tries. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. Two out, nobody on. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. No change in the score. It's 3 to 3. Jerry Blevins is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Jerry Levin. Now at the plate, Addison Russell. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Fouled straight back. 1 and 2. Here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far four strikeouts. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah Matt that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now Chris Bryant. Out of play. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. To short. Right there is Reyes. Throw gets him. Two down. First baseman number 44. Anthony Rizzo. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Anthony Rizzo in his career versus this pitcher, over five. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. Score remains tied at three to three. Welcome back to MLB Network. Great to have you with us from Chicago as the ninth inning is set to get underway. Now at the plate, Wilmer Flores. He's one for two in the ball game. hit toward the hole and it's through for a base hit his second of the ball game so that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway well we always expect him if he's got two hits in the hit column something's going to be over the boards but hey he'll take the two singles not complaining
Into the box now. David Wright takes a high fastball for a strike. Go ahead runs the board here at first with nobody out. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Here's the 2-2 pitch. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Ready with another two strike offering. Again he sends it out of play. Chopped weakly to the left. Oh and he can't come up with it. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first out. Now batting catcher Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1-1 one one pitch. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Now a pickoff play at second, and a dive, but he's back. Now a spin and another throw back to second, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Now the 2-1. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. Juan Ligaris waits on deck. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and he'll be back in standing up. Now the three and two pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in time at first for out number two. The center fielder number 12. Juan Justin Grimm has been summoned here and will try to keep this one tied heading to the bottom of the ninth. Number 52. Justin Grimm. Juan Ligares will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Yep. Fastball called strike. One and two. Now the one and two pick. Here's a line drive into center field. It's a base hit. Scoring is the runner from third, and they have taken the lead here in game two. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead of the ball game, you feel good about yourself, and his teammates are pumped up as well. Brandon Nimmo will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number nine. Brandon Nimmo. Slow roller back to the mound. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. The Mets lead this one 4 
third and three. AJ Ramos, if the man now called on to man. close this one and earn Hunter a save in the ninth. AJ Ramos. So striding in, Kyle Schwarber. He's the one to start things off with his guys in danger of seeing this series leveled at a game apiece, barring a ninth inning rally. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Payoff pitch one more time. Chopped weakly to the right. That rolls foul, and they'll do it again. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that's a fair ball heading out toward the 353 sign on the Ivy. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now that's the at bat they needed. Bases empty, one out, down one in the ninth. He's got to find a way, any way to get on base, and he does more than that, getting into scoring position here. We've got a great finish on our hands, guys. Coming to the plate now, Wilson Contreras. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. gets him and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now and look at this the runner from second is going to come across to score Javier Baez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here number nine Javier Baez Flare out toward right center. Calling for it, Conforto. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer, and we're right back where we started from. Tenth inning coming up, and we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Hector Rondon takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Rondo. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He's working on a one for three thus far. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. It's swung on and hit in the air. Jay has a read on it. And that's the first out of the inning. The batter number 13, second baseman, has dribble Cabrera. So digging in now has dribble Cabrera. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. One out, nobody on. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Another full count pitch home. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk.
In now, Michael Conforto. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. He swings and grounds it to short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more postseason baseball in Game 2 after this. Settling in now, Matt Caesar. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Ball three, the nine hitter. He's got to know he's going to come after him and throw him a strike. He does not want to walk the nine hitter with the leadoff guy sitting on deck and a chance to get this in and going for them. And here's a ball hit in the air, and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. Now batting center fielder Sean Shea into the box. John Jay, he comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here's the one and one pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Well, that was a good changeup right there. You see how he swung through that ball? Man, he's got him thinking now because that was clearly an indication he was looking fastball and got fooled. Foul back. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. This ball will be chopped foul. And he's able to fight this one off. Foul to the right, and the count will hold at one and two. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Here's the one and two delivery. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Hey, it's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Stepping in now, Addison Russell in the dirt, but swung on and missed. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Still all square at four apiece. Pedro Stroke takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Number 46, Pedro Stroke. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. His career line against Pedro Stroke. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And a fastball not close. It's two and one now. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And he misses again. Ball three. Possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The one and one pitch. 
And that one stayed too low, apparently. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Now the 2 1. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Caesar moving to his left. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The center fielder number 12, Juan Lagare. Ready for another chance? Juan Lagares. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Now the 2 1. Pitch is way outside and he can't even get a glove on it. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go ahead run into scoring position. Well, when a reliever comes in a game, he always wants to make a big impression, but I don't think uncorking a wild one was what he had in mind. Sometimes it takes a reliever a little bit of time to be comfortable on the mound out there, so we'll see if he can settle in. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout the there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't Rama. been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. T.J. Rivera will be called upon Andrew here to Jordan hit with York. the game on the line. Number 54, T.J. Rivera. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Now the one and two pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. Mets leave one. This game's all tied at four. You're Josh Edgen takes over now, now to start the home eleventh, and he's Number looking 66. to get this one to the visiting twelve. Edgen. Here's Chris Bryant now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Well at the plate he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Anthony Rizzo will stride in again and before he takes his cuts here we take you back to inning number six. This was his second home run of the ball game as he'll stand in here looking for number three. Now here's the pitch. This is skied into short left center. Cespedes is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. Left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Digging in to try it again, Kyle Schwarber. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Hard hit ball to second taken there by Cabrera 
On to first, and that'll mean a 12th inning is in order as this inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. 11 innings in the books now, and we are tied 4-4. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Reyes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 1 pitch. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Programming note to pass along here. Due to the no length of our ball game tonight, the Jody Kelsey Bateman show will not be ball. seen this evening Double so that we can bring you the conclusion of this ball game. Doggone. Digging in once again as Dribble Cabrera, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Off the plate at 94, one and two. Hey, I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Ready on one and two. Now Cabrera swings and misses on a good pitch that time as he's rung up for out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Ready with the two and two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Joanna Cespedes would be next. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Into the box now. Joanna Cespedes. And the slider just stayed north of the strike zone that time. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Two one pitches a slider taken for a cold strike two. Here's the two two pitch. Just a bit low, ball three. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Now the three and two pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Mets strand one. Score remains tied at four. Here's Ben Zobris now. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit hard towards the hole. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base safely here in extra innings. It's going to be interesting to see how they play this. Deep into extra innings, and now they've got the winning run on. Old school would probably bunt and move them into scoring position, but that's not an automatic decision these days. We'll see what they do. In now, Wilson Contreras. That one's in there, three and one. Go, 
with a 3-1 pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. That looked like he was cheating for that fastball inside right there. Early swing, got out in front of that off-speed pitch. Clearly looking for a fastball. There's one. Back to first. It's a double play. And the prospect of more baseball looms on the horizon. There are two away now. Well, it was a promising start with the leadoff man on in a tie ball game, but there's nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. Albert Elmore will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hard hit ball to second. On to first, and we're headed to 13 as that ends the inning. Nothing happening there for the Cubbies. Still all square and four apiece. Gary Davis enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. in once again Wilmer Flores on the night he's two for four with a pair of singles gets the sign here comes the two one taken strike two called and it's even at two and two Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Grounded back up the middle. Russell has it. No problem here. One away. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. And in the past against Wade Davis, one for four. He also has one home run. And it looks like the Cubs will get a left hander up and working out of the bullpen. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two seam movement to it. Two gone. Now batting, catcher, Travis. Ready Darno. once again, Travis Darno. Trying to avoid the dreaded hat trick here. He's 0 for 5, all told. And he takes a cold strike two. Boy, this guy comes out of the pen. He loves coming in in spots like this. Tight situations. This is exactly the type of game that he loves to come into. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Knuckle curve, and he can't ring him up as it goes to two and two. Two out, nobody on. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Crowd gets up for the three two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The next three two. On the ground, up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. So the two out base hit on the top of the inning is still alive. Well, that's a nice single. At least he can go that's home now. Being one, one for six is a lot one. better than 0 for six. Right. Standing in now, Juan Ligares. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Back up the middle. 
And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Breaking his heart, Matt. Breaking his heart. He got two quick outs. He's thinking he's going to cruise through this thing. And now look at him. Boom, boom. Base hits coming back at you. That's why you have to complete the inning. Matt Reynolds will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 15, Matt Reynolds. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Matt, this is where I like this guy pitching. First and second, he's got two outs. He's got himself a little bit of a jam, but now he likes to paint the corners. Watch him fight himself out of this situation. Two men are on with two men out. Fly ball out toward left center field. Jay is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Yet another shot to end it right here as we move on to the home half of the inning, and we are tied 4-4. Hansel Robles enters the game now as he'll get the responsibility of trying to send this one to a 14th inning. Ready for another shot now. Matt Caesar looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. He hit that change up hard. Man, he saw it good. Just wasn't able to keep it fair. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Another one sent foul. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Into the box, John Jay. A changeup over the inside corner. One out, nobody on. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Here's Addison Russell. It's been a disastrous game for him at the plate. Five strikeouts, and yet here he is with the possibility to go down for a sixth time on strikes. One and two now. It just catches the outer half. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Lagara is giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The batter, third baseman, Brad Ryan. Now in the box, Chris Bryant. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. So 
it's a two-run shot to right center, and none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Man, the postseason always seems to deliver big moments, and this was no exception. A walk-off in the final at bat ends it, and there's Bedlam at home plate. Wow! Heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our top player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. four finish in tonight's affair. The Cubs get the win to take a two games to zero series lead. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Six runs, eight hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Mets, four runs on ten hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. I can't imagine there are many people in this club who have taken this harder than D. Gordon has, Dave. Some of the pictures we saw from yesterday. Yep. And he hits a high fly ball. This is deep to right field. He has homered for Jose. Circles the bases and now gets the home plate. His very first home run of this season. And he is overcome by emotion again. The pitch. And a high drive.